really didn't think that I'd be posting a video on this. But here we are. So, first and foremost, I'll be posting an iCard over there to my main channel. If you guys haven't subscribed to that channel, make sure you do that. Especially subscribe to this channel. That channel is closer to the 1K mark. This channel, obviously, I haven't really posted much of anything in a long time. So I figured, why not? And why not this matter? So if you watch till the end, I'll include... Um, my sources or um, screenshots of said topics, whatever you want to call it. Let me turn off my notifications real quick. Sorry for that. But first and foremost, I can't go on Facebook and go maybe five minutes without somebody talking crap about people not wearing a mask. First and foremost, if you want to wear a mask, awesome. If you don't, awesome. If there's reasons why you don't want to wear a mask, health concerns, existing health conditions, uh, compliance issues, I understand. I'm pretty sure everybody understands. Except for, obviously, the pro-maskers or the whatever whatever you want to call them um, understand that in most places here in Florida in particular um, Governor DeSantis has already stated that it has to be voluntarily voluntary sorry so there's that to start with um, all the places that have tried to set forth or not so much tried but have set forth um, the mask policies that's fine however the issue is excuse me the issue is the orders that they're trying to follow per county orders or county uh, excuse me county ordinance whatever it may be generally I'll speak for Pasco at least um, in our ordinance, it states when uh, when you can't do the social distancing of the six feet. So what that means is if little Tommy go down to Circle K and there's only three people in there, but they're all within six feet apart, they don't need a mask per the ordinance. Now... Some of these places, some businesses, stores, um, whatever, public places, they uh, had freaking hair in my mouth. They, uh, they tried to place their own new policies. And what they failed to realize is, now some places do, don't get me wrong, I've seen a lot of places uh, get I won't say glorified, but I have seen some places um, going around Facebook where they are uh, respectfully explaining. And a lot of places don't understand it. So for you guys who don't understand, if I go into Circle K, Johnny behind the counter, he can't ask me why I don't have a mask. If I have health conditions, anything he can't ask me it's a violation of HIPAA law it's something serious most places don't really want to mess with that some places don't understand that that's a violation not only that but there are several different medical conditions that could grant your uh, not so much grant but could justify the reason for you not wanting to wear a mask I'm not going to get into all of them. That's neither here nor there. At the end of the day, um, if you're denied service for said medical condition, even if you don't tell them what your medical condition is, if you're denied service for your medical condition, violation of HIPAA law. So if you're 
asked about your medical condition and then denied service about your medical condition, violation of HIPAA law times two. Okay. That's, that's basically, I, I don't even really know how to word it. But some of you guys know if you follow both, uh, both channels, I have service dogs. I have a reason why I have service dogs. If I take one of my service dogs into Walmart, the manager, nobody else, the manager or management, whether it be store manager, district manager, whatever, um, they have the ability to ask me two questions. Those two questions are, is that a service dog? What is its task? That's it. Nothing more. If they try to ask me to show them my dog's task for my dog to perform her or his task in front of them, violation. Nobody wants to get sued for this stuff. But again, a lot of places don't realize, and even the places that do realize it think that you're too dumb to realize it. Be completely honest with you. It's really sad how many people don't understand laws and rights. It's kind of why we're here right now. Anyways, <clears throat> CDC goes over and talks about different masks, at least three or four different masks in one of the pictures that I'm going to uh, post in into the end of this video, whatever. Uh, goes over the different types of masks, explains that cloth masks do nothing to help filter out anything. So that, that mask that your neighbor Susan made for you, or that mask that you bought from Kimberly down on Facebook, ain't doing shit. Not a fucking thing, excuse my English. I can kinda unravel a little bit on this one, because I'm not even close to being monetized yet. So, it's okay. Anyways, um, N95s. People used to swear up and down, or not so much used to, but people swore up and down about those N95s. What they failed to realize is, well, the N95s filter your intake. They don't filter the exhale. So, what that means is, <clears throat> going based off of Oh, well, if you're sick, you should wear a mask. Okay. The N95, if you're sick, if you have corona, N95, you cough, you breathe, anything. Freaking anything. Just talking. All that breath is going right out the ventilation and into the freaking atmosphere. Not atmosphere, but into the air around anybody or anything that you're next to so that's not helping come on now it's not rocket science I'll post a couple links down in the description um, of a few studies it's only two um, but there's plenty out there you guys can google you can research whatever you want to um, but there's plenty of sources out there that do explain to you or explain how the masks do not help um it's getting real sad real freaking sad how many karens that we actually have out here um, i'm not sure what the male version is i think someone tried to say kyle but it it doesn't sound right anyways um if if you're so worried about people wearing masks don't go out in public why are you going to make somebody wear a mask out in public if you're the one that's scared? Don't make much sense. And I'm really confused because a lot of these masked up, masked up Karens, pro-maskers, whatever the hell you want to call them, they, they're my body, my choicers. So if it's my body... It's my choice, ain't it? Why the hell are you trying to make me wear a mask? Don't make much sense, now does it? <sighs> Mind you, 
that just as of what the 20th don't quote me on the date but less than one percent of the u.s population has been affected less than half of that one percent so 0.5 less than 0.5 percent don't recover what the hell happened when we had h1n1 no one wore a mask Businesses weren't shut down. What's different now? That's right. Nothing. The only difference is some people think that they can try to blame this on the president, but not H1N1 on Obama. That don't make no sense. We're not getting into that right now. But I really just thought that I had to make this video, kind of get it out there. Um. I'm probably going to get a lot of people talking crap in the comments. I'll probably turn off the comments. Don't really care. Uh, this channel, if it, if it grows, that's awesome. If it doesn't, it's okay too. But I can get it out there without having to worry about nothing. Because it's such a small channel, I don't have to worry about YouTube taking it down. Don't have to worry about anything. It's not going to get demonetized. It's not going to... Nothing. So, with that being said, I will get off of here. I will stop talking you guys' ears off. But, just understand that even if you tested positive with COVID, it's possible that it was just a COVID... Uh, yeah, a COVID-related virus, such as the common cold. Like I said, I'll post all those links, or... Yeah, post the links in the description, sorry. And then right after this, you'll see a quick little slideshow of CDC stating about the masks, um, CDC stating about the false positives with the common cold, as well as the affected population and the numbers. So with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed it. All right. Take care, y'all.